you're running a successful company. It's just interesting because my mind has been in that space of uh, potentially just being one of the millions other entrepreneurs. Uh, what's your advice on uh, how to build a successful startup, how to build a successful company? I think that one thing I, I do like, and I, it might be a particular thing about America, but like there is something about like playing, tell people what you really want to happen in the world. Mm -hmm. Like don't stop. It, it's not, it's not going to make it um, like if you're asking someone to invest in your company, don't say, I think uh, maybe one day we might make a million dollars. When you actually believe something else, you actually believe you're actually more optimistic, but you're toning down your optimism mm -hmm. because you want to appear um, like low risk. Mm -hmm. But actually, it's super high risk if your company becomes mediocre mm -hmm. because no one wants to work in a mediocre company. No one wants to invest in a mediocre right. company. Um, so you should play the real game. Um, and obviously, this doesn't apply to all businesses. But if you play a venture-backed startup kind of game, like play for keeps, play to win, go big. Um, and it's very hard to do that. I've always feel like um, I, yeah, I start. You can start narrowing narrowing your focus because ten people are telling you, you know, you got to care about this boring thing that won't matter five years from now, right. and you should push back and do the real. Play the real game. So be bold. So both, I mean, there's a there's an interesting duality there. So there's w the way you speak to other people about like your plans and what you are like privately, just in, in your own mind. And maybe it's connected with what you're saying about, yeah, sincerity as well. Like right. if, you, if you appear to be sincerely optimistic about something that's big or crazy, it, it's putting yourself up to be kind of like ridiculed or something. Yes. And so if you say, my mission, my mission is to, um, yeah, go to Mars. It's just so bonkers that uh, it's hard to say. It is, but uh, uh, one powerful thing, just like you said, uh, is if you say it and you believe it, then actually amazing people uh, come and work with you. Exactly. It's not just skill, but the the dreams. There's something about optimism that, uh, that, like that fire that you have when you're optimistic of actually having the hope of building something totally cool, something totally new, that when those people get in a room together, like they can actually do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, there's, yeah, there's, that's, uh, and also makes life really fun when you're in that room. So all, all of that together, uh, ultimately, I don't know. That's what makes this crazy ride of a startup really uh, look fun. And Elon is an example of a person who succeeded at that. There's not many other in inspiring figures, which is sad. Uh, I used to be a Google, and there's um, there's something that happens that sometimes when the company grows bigger and bigger and bigger, where that kind of ambition kind of quiets down a little bit. Yeah, you know, Google had this ambition still does of making the world's information accessible to everyone. And I remember, I don't know, that's beautiful. <laughs> I I still love that dream of that, you know, they used to scan books, but just yeah. in every way possible, make the world's information accessible. Same with Wikipedia. Every time I open up Wikipedia, um, I'm just awe inspired by how awesome humans are man at creating this together i don't know what the meetings are over there but it, they it's just beautiful like what they've created is is incredible and i'd love to be able to be part of something like that and, and you're right for that you have to be bold and there's and strange to me also i think you're right that there's how many boring companies there are right something i talk about especially in fintech it's like why am i excited about this, this is yeah. so lame like, what is, this isn't even, like, important. Even if you <laughs> succeed, this is going to be, like, t terrible. Like, yeah. this is not good. Um, and it's just strange how people can kind of get fake enthusiastic about, like, boring ideas. Yeah. When there's so many bigger ideas that, um, yeah, I mean, you read these things, like, this company raises money, and it's just like, that's a lot of money for the worst idea I've ever heard. <laughs> Some ideas are... Uh, really big. So like I, I worked on autonomous vehicles quite a bit. And there's so many ways in which you can present that idea to yourself, to the team you work with, to just, 
yeah, like to yourself when you're quietly looking in the mirror in the morning, uh, that's really boring or really exciting. Like if you're really ambitious with autonomous vehicles, there it it changes the nature of like human robot interaction. It changes the nature of how we move. Forget money, forget all that stuff. It it changes like everything about robotics and AI, machine learning. It changes everything about manufacturing. I mean, the cars, the transportation is so fundamentally connected to cars. And if that changes, it, you're changing the fabric of society, of movies, of everything. Uh, and if you go bold and take risks and go be willing to go bankrupt <laughs> with your company, uh, as opposed to cautiously, you can, you can really change the world. And it's so sad for me to see all these autonomous companies, autonomous vehicle companies, they're like really more focused about fundraising and kind of like smoke and mirrors are really afraid they're the, the, the entirety of their marketing is grounded in fear yeah. and presenting enough smoke to where they keep raising funds so they can cautiously use technology of a previous decade or previous two decades to kind of test vehicles here and there as opposed to do crazy things and bold and go huge at scale do huge data collection i mean um yeah, so that's just an example. Like the idea can be big, but if you don't allow yourself to take that idea and think really big with it, uh, then you're not going to make anything happen.